What's going on people, it's your man the YB back once again So we got some breaking news right now Regarding Anthony Robert Belchua and Daniel Triple D Dubois Team AJ have publicly aired out the fact that Daniel Dubois is potentially, allegedly, some people are saying off the Connor Hen, the Moody Eggs people. Here we go then. So 258 Management, I'm sure you all know already. 258 Management is AJ's outfit. He's set that up, etc, etc. They've tagged Evening at Queensberry. Any update on why Daniel Dubois isn't signed up for VADA testing yet? Question mark, question mark, googly eyes. Oops, busted. Now, listen. Come on, people. Come on now. This for me is a bit like the cot, the kettle and the pot. You see that one there? Yeah, the kettle and the pot. These are two big old bulls, right? Let's call a spare spade here. When have you seen two big old bulls like this just roaming in the wild? Yeah, these are two synthetic IFBB Pro bulls. It's well established in the bodybuilding community. It's just a given. You off the moody eggs. You off this. You off that. You understand, people? In boxing, it's more taboo. You know, the big ones like Carrot Top, he gets to slide. For Tyson Fury, he got to slide. Tyson Fury was caught with Nandrolone. He slid on that case. He beat the case. He picked the blower up to Dan Kinahan, the man, and the case was, it was quashed. Do you understand, people? No evidence found. The farmer, he wind up missing somewhere. Dan the man, he made it happen. Yeah? Dan the man liked that. He can make things happen. He can make things appear. He can make things disappear. They call him Houdini. Yeah? You best believe it, people. If Dan the man picked the blur up and he wants to land a couple ton here or there, yeah, 100% that parcel landing. No interruptions. So that's Dan the man for you. So Tyson Fury, it slide. Carrot top. With the, oh, it was the moody beef, the Mexican beef. Okay, so you've got the Mexican beef with carrot top. You've got the moody boar meat with Tyson Fury. And then you've got the moody eggs with Connor Hen. Who else is there? They're the most prolific ones. And it tends to be where the clout is, where the money is, things don't work so well. We've talked about it before. There's a cat called Liam Cameron. Liam Cameron was banned. Now, I don't know him. This is the only reason I know him, but look at this. Liam... Cameron Coca. Here we go, people. Okay, um, banned five years. So essentially, there's a cat called Liam Cameron, a mid level dude, British level dude, a four year doping ban. Cameron, 33, retired from boxing in 2019 when his appeal against a four year doping ban was rejected. The middleweight tested positive for La Coca. Yeah, here we go. La Coca. La Kinahan. Yeah, you, some people know it as La Coca. Other people know it as like in a hand. Other people know it as the sugar bugger. Yeah? The bugger sugar. Namely, most people know it by like in a hand. This dude, this mid level dude with no infrastructure behind him. A little piece of party things, and he's out for four years. Carrot top. Right? No one can. S if anything, La Coca, people who came La Coca, yeah? People who came like in a hand, their nose start falling off. That's the opposite. Of anabolic, right? People don't cane La Coca, yeah? People don't cane La Kinahan and their nose start growing a six pack. It's degenerative. It's estrogenic. You fall apart off La Coca. When have you ever seen a buff nitty? Oops. <clears throat> when? They emaciated, yeah? Etc., etc. So, really, I don't believe there's any evidence that 2 2 La Kinahan is performance enhancing. Damn sure not four year worthy, but he Liam Cameron he didn't have the infrastructure behind him to beat the case. Where am I going with this? Now listen, I'm not saying the pot and the kettle. I'm not saying Johnston is implicated. What we do know is what some people have said, namely Dillian White. Dillian White came out once and said AJ was given TUEs, therapeutic use exemptions. This is something the establishment uses to basically sign off on a case-by-case -case basis yeah they've got a general list that's banned but if you can get a tue from the government then anything flies anyway let's check this out and it's all obviously private information so you don't know who's getting what tue tues aren't disclosed to the opposition as they should be 
Yeah, I assume it's probably under the kind of the Medical Information Protection Act, which means you can't, you not, you don't have to share people's private medical information. Anyway, let's check this out because you might have forgot this one. Dillian White, Anthony Johnston, T U E. Hmm? Uh. Okay. Therapeutic use exemption. Oh, I know it. Ex exemption. I spelled it wrong, people. I ain't gonna lie to you. Here we go. Bosh. Dillian White. Now, it could be the case Dillian White is salty because he got his head knocked off. Yeah, that could definitely be the case. Here we go. Dillian White accuses AJ of legally juicing. And if you can read this article yourself, this is on the this is on mirror.co.uk, so it happened. And at the time, Dillian White had his own channel, yeah, and he put this video up saying, because that was after the Ruiz loss. AJ lost to Ruiz and Dillian White speculated, I'll tell you a lot, and that can't be, it's here. I'm not sure then, but um, Dillian White was essentially saying that, I'm sure he had a narrative out there. After AJ lost to Ruiz, he was like, yeah. Because AJ couldn't get his TUEs in America. In the, obviously, Team AJ allegedly, reportedly, some people are saying, has the kind of the British scene on lock. Yeah, the, so I haven't watched it, but some people say, reportedly, allegedly, the Olympics was fixed for Johnston. He was supposed to lose that fight, or he should have lost that fight, but they give it to him because it's in London. Now again, did he, he probably just two two hater. Yeah, he got his cherry popped. And that was the end of that for him. He mad now. Equally, I mean, A that hot as well. A that hot. And like I said, Dillian White initially had a video out talking about this TUE situation. I actually have another video on my old channel talking about this and actually playing you the, the, the audio. Anywho, um, my point is, I mean, you know what, people? I can't lie. I'm sick, man. I've got my point. <laughs> Got my point. What was my point? That's pissing me off. The white be bugging right now. The cabal has slowed me down. Yeah, all the conserva cooks sending their moody rays. I can't think straight right now. So Dillian White was telling them, man, telling us to use. I did a video on it. Oh, that was it. And Dillian White was essentially or received a cease and desist from Anthony Joshua. Let's see if we can find it. Dillian White cease and desist Anthony Joshua. Therapeutic use. Mm. Anyway, that's what happened. And then the video went down. Do you understand, people? The video went down. Dillian White's video was taken off as Team AJ sued for, not sued, but it was a cease and desist. A cease and desist is essentially, from what I understand, the start of the legal process. If people don't remove the alleged defamatory content, that's when you get sued. But you, you normally give them a chance to desist from that behaviour and Dillian White, he desisted. He stayed in pocket. Dillian White appreciated that the AJ Cabal in Britain, you saw people, look at Alexander Usyk, the undisputed champion. Yeah, if there was ever a man who should carry some clout, it should have been Usyk after beating AJ twice and beating Dubois. That clout of undisputed champion after beating AJ twice, beating Dubois, beating Fury meant nothing. When it came to the British establishment, AJ slash the Desert Diddy Cabal, they rob his ass of his belt. And no one's saying nothing. In fact, to Anthony Mosexuals, oh no, IB, this is. You, you fight people. Yeah? You've got True Diddy, aka True Turkey. Yeah? True Turkey came out. Oh, this is the most best thing ever. here. a four time champion. He's one of the best of the world. Only the very best in the world can lose a belt three times. You've heard that from True Geordie, aka True Turkey, aka True Desert Diddy. All the establishment are ba banging this like it's real. That shows you the clout they have. So when I say at the start of the video, potentially, allegedly, some people are saying, in my opinion, I think AJ's completely clean. He had never touched no juices. Look at his biceps. Do them biceps look like a dude who came in the juice? Do them legs look like a dude who came in the juice? Absolutely not. If there was ever a fight who's natural in my opinion, it'd be definitely with Johnston, for sure. That's my opinion, but some people are saying, the pot on the kettle, why are you so focused on that? Yeah? 
if you're naive as such and you're in the game and you don't know nothing about juice, you don't focus on it, right? But when you're in the game and you're taking two, two bits, allegedly, you're then thinking about what everyone else is doing. If I'm doing this, I want to make sure they're not doing that. That said, putting all the conspiratorial bits to the side, it is a bit, if they haven't signed up for VADA, why not? Because ultimately we can sit here and debate, oh, has the, has the AJ establishment got a word in with VADA or not? Can they get a TUE for VADA? I don't know. Yeah, and there's a lot of squares out there who will tell you, no IB, it's a bit like the IBF. No IB, the IBF is a, a prestigious organisation, they can't be touched. People, there's no organisation in the world that can't be touched. Every single one of them can get touched. So, like, has VADA been touched by Johnston? Has, um, well, we know the IBF got touched, fact. Yeah, we know that for a fact. Again, we don't know. Yeah, I don't have no clue. Equally, it's a fair point. Why is Dubois not signed up for it? Why is he not signed up? You get his big ass in there and sign up. Ultimately, if we're going to masquerade like this is a clean sport, do you know what I mean? If that's what we're doing, everyone should be signed up. And if I, to be honest, if I was there, yeah, I mean, it's difficult, isn't it? But if I was in this kind of top level stakes, yeah, I'd insist. Like, Dubois is making how much? Dubois, yeah, and everyone in this sport at that level should pay someone to to ghost monitor. Like, Dubois, yeah, could easily afford paying someone 50 grand a year. Okay, my name's... Okay, my name's Daniel Dubois. Pay someone 50 grand a year that you trust to follow Vardo around. And make sure you track that package from Bosch to Bosch to when it's tested. Because you... I, I don't believe it. I just don't. Sorry, people. I don't believe it. I don't believe that... That situations are always genuine. Maybe that's my predisposition, but I just don't. I've lost complete faith in the system, unfortunately. Yeah, people are. Oh, it was the eggs. Oh, it was someone's lying. Yeah. Then you got Dillian White popping. Oh no, he didn't pop. So it's like everyone else is popping. He's, maybe Johnson's just a clean dude. Maybe he just. Maybe the biggest one of them all, right? Maybe the biggest, most buffest, and most leanest one is the cleanest of them all. Wouldn't that be a fairy tale? And that's my opinion. Um, some people are saying, though, some people are saying it's potentially contradictory that the biggest, most leanest one of them all is always the cleanest. Look at Dillian White, he's soft. Yeah? If there was ever a dude who definitely out on the bits, it's Dillian White, he's soft. Yeah? He got cushion for the pushing. Right? Come on, people, stop. <coughs> he's soft. He's soft. No chin. No aggression. Dillian White clean him from my eye test. Then again, Johnson, he got no aggression either. So anyway, Dubois need to sign up. At the face level, taking this as it is, let's assume everything we're told is correct. Let's assume Dillian White was wrong and you're speculating. If this is just what it is, Dubois need to sign up. Yeah, Dubois need to sign up because AJ's obviously already signed up. And that's the end of that. Anyway, people, let me know your thoughts. Smash the like button, subscribe. Leck off the bell, 100%. You know what? In fact, let me put this bit in there now. I'm going to call it now. Don't be surprised, yeah? Don't be surprised. Oh, oh, I'm putting out there. Let's say I'm wrong, yeah? And there isn't a magic hand always messing with things, yeah? If Danny Dubois clips AJ, do not be surprised. Oh, he had this in his system. It's like they're setting the scene. Oh, why are you not signed up? Oh, you're not signed up. And he might not be signed up. Fair play to you. But don't be surprised if Johnston gets clipped, yeah? We've just seen Ryan Garcia and Diddy Van Haney. Ryan Garcia versus Diddy Van Haney. Dude got smoked and they've expunged that fight and they've took him back to zero. So don't be surprised, given the Desert Diddy Mafia, mafia given the British establishment <laughs> noshing off Johnston. Don't be surprised if Dubois wins this fight, yeah, I'm expecting, I will not be shocked for sure. For me, there's a 50 50 chance. We get a moody egg story. Oh, the bar off the comathene. Oh, the bar off this, the bar off that. Do not be shocked. And if I was advising the bar's team, I'd make I'd get the bar's dad. Yeah, the bar's dad should be cooking everything, passing all the drinks. Yeah, order it from somewhere. Hundred percent. It needs to be direct. Don't be passing it to no low-paid goofball. That's what you don't want to be doing. It needs to be from the bar's dad. Or, um, what's his name? Um, Don Don Charles to Dubois. That's what it needs to be. 
Yeah, I don't want to hear no. Oh, it, the no, the, strict on this one because something's smelling off to me. These guys, Johnson's team, are potentially nervous. They're thinking about oh, this guy's juiced. This guy's juiced, especially when. Apparently, Dubois replied, I'm going to cover this in a separate video, but Dubois replied saying we are signed up. So why are Team AJ? But listen, Dubois' team might be lying. I don't know, I'm not there. But if Dubois' team aren't lying, why are Team Johnston setting his narrative out there? Oh, we told you he wasn't in Varda. Johnston gets clipped. Oh! Devin Haney versus Ryan Garcia, part two. Expunged. And AJ's champion again. And he gets. It. We know AJ ain't got no qualms about taking a moody belt for nothing. If Dubois beats AJ and that fight's expunged, AJ will be the new champion by default. Yeah, he didn't lose and he's the champion now and they'll get to make, um, the Desert Diddy will get to make the battle of the £250 plus bulls. Johnston, Lord Johnston versus Tyson oh, Fury, aka Luke McGuinness. Do you understand people? So again... It's all speculation, not my opinion. I'm telling you what other people have said, reportedly, allegedly. You best believe it, 100%. There's no doubt about this one. Stop it.